we that are. we ended up doing a career with words because we were a bit frightened about figures. Well, not because. I'd say just because we were more drawn, I suppose, to words and, and perhaps... Anyway, I do have a phobia of maths, I can't deny. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think lots of people share that. Um, and, you know, when it comes to doing your own homework or indeed helping your children with it, it is something that can come back up uh, during your life. One dad, Paul Duggan, uh, can tell us all about that very experience and why, Paul, you decided to go back to school. Welcome to the programme. Why did you decide then to sort of get to grips with maths after a lifelong fear of it? Oh, well, hello. Thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, it came about because I was made redundant just before the pandemic, so I um, looked at my options. Um, what do I do? Do I go to the pool with a pina colada or do I try and actually improve my situation? And, uh... and did your maths tell you that you hadn't got enough money to go to the pool with a <laughs> pina colada or...? Well, it's, it's, if you're not very good at maths, it's hard to work those kind of things out. <laughs> yeah. um, <clears throat> There's a difference, you see. I, I, uh, sometimes we mistake maths with arithmetic. I have yes. absolutely no yeah. problem with arithmetic, mm. and I would know if I was going to the pool if I could afford the drink or not or how many drinks I could mm. afford. That's, that's not my issue. My issue is the wider world of maths. And I suggest that's probably yeah. your issue yeah, as well. Right. I mean, yeah. you know, arithmetic, I can see the sense, I can see the use of it. Um, a lot of the other stuff, logs, all sorts. I mean, what, what's the point? Why do we need yeah. to know? Yeah, um, well, at school, I was totally hopeless. And I remember I got 15%, I think, in, in what is now year eight and um, yeah. decided to opt out from maths. And yes. a bit like what you introduced it with, I chose to um, chose words because they seemed easier at the time and were more accessible. Um, but it, that did mean that I had a limited range of jobs that I could choose. And yes, so again, I never understand why mathematics. I can understand basic numeracy associated with certain jobs, but I don't understand why you would have to be so skilled in maths to be, you know, a um, you know a supermarket manager to be anything. Bus it's, driver. Or bus driver. Anything, no, no. Yeah. This this is the thing that, um, as as you mentioned, I was a careers advisor, and um, I found that. Yeah, employers are asking for quite a lot of qualifications that weren't relevant to the job. Correct. It's just a way of filtering out applications, really. Yeah. Um, so, look, we, we're highlighting the problems. What are the solutions? What got you back in there? Okay. What would you do and what would you say to, you know, people who have had a lifelong problem with this? Yeah, um, the, problem, the problem is that um, as, as an adult, um, it can be a bit daunting to take it on and go back into the classroom. But the thing that I would say is that adult learning is so much different from when you're at school. It's, it's a different situation. At school, if you're not good at maths, if you don't want to participate, certainly in my day, you're allowed to, to not. Um, but if, if you join an adult learning class now, you, know, you, you will be encouraged, you will not be left behind.